we say the cPanel server setup. So that time one term always comes in the mind is a Cloud Linux. Do you know what is called Cloud Linux? Cloud Linux is the upgraded version of Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, CentOS. So what that actually means, it created in such a way that so when we use our server, so that time we can betterly control our server. We can install Node.js, we can install Ruby, we can install Python, we can able to do MySQL monitoring, we can able to do resources allocation like a cloud. It name suggests Cloud Linux means it's act like a cloud. So let me give you a single example. If a user buying a server, let me show you an example. Okay, so we'll go here on DomainRacer.com. This is our DomainRacer.com. I will go to the web hosting page. So here you can able to see that we have our four different plans. In that I have allocated disk space, email IDs and all that we can able to do from the C panel, but about a RAM allocation, about a CPU allocation, about a IOPS allocation, about a entry process and number of process allocation, we need a cloud liners. If we will not uh, enable or put a limitation, uh, any user can able to any amount of server resources. So that may crash the server and may be unfair to the users or for you as well because they are paying. Uh, twenty dollars to fifty dollars per year. So you are getting hardly five dollars per month. That means by paying five dollars, he is using five hundred dollars server. Maybe to limit this, we need a cloud Linux. So let's begin with the cloud Linux installation. Again, wait for that. But before moving further, let me share you one thing. Cloud Linux is not a free operating system because here you can able to get at $12. But if you scroll down, it is only allowed 5 C panels. Okay. But for the unlimited, they are charging you $15. If you buy a server from Domain Dresser or Dedicated Core, so that time we can able to offer you a same Cloud Linux license at the cost of $11, not a $12, $11. That means you will get a better pricing since we are already partner with them and we had hundreds of servers with them, hundreds of license. So we are getting a huge discount. So we are just passing that discount to you. So you will get at $11 from Domain Tracer or Dedicated Core. Now we will move further. You understood you need this. Why? Because if you will spend this $11 or $15, you can able to run at least 200 to 300 clients on a single server. But if you're not using that, anytime your server may get crash. So this is important one. Without this, you can't run your shared hosting company or web hosting company. So you need this for $11. You can able to buy from our company. So and about the management and all support and all we will give you for sure. So no worry about that. Okay, done. But you need to buy server cpanel license cloud linux license and other similar licenses which you need from the server all we will give so you can say one stop solution for all of your problems okay now we will move further and start the installation of cloud linux to install a cloud linux we need to first download the repository or installation file okay we completed downloading of installation now it is time to start the installation enter you can able to see that currently Cloud Linux has 8.8 uh, .8 version and the release version is also 8.8 .8 and the installation process has been started. It might take around 20 minutes. So wait for that. Please do not disconnect your system because if it get anything wrong, your entire system will make it crash. Wait for this because this is actual OS. This means we are replacing our Alma Linux, Rocky Linux or CentOS OS with Cloud Linux operating system. Since our internet connection is extremely fast, the installation process is going very smoothly and faster way. It is almost 95% completed and almost it is going to be finished. Done now, let me reboot the system. Okay, after successful reboot, you can able to see that our Alma Linux, Rocky Linux or CentOS OS has been successfully converted into 
cloud linux now only one thing is remaining for cloud linux to be activated is license key we have already shared you the 15 dollars is actual cost but from dedicated code you can able to get at 11 dollars okay but how to apply the license key for that i will go to the terminal okay if you don't know how to install and all and you do not want it to go in the depth of this we will do that for you so no worry just by license we will do installation and configuration ourselves okay so command is r h n r e g underscore k s space hyphen hyphen activation key is equal to we need to paste the license key here and hit enter again i will try this and done our system has been successfully registered let me go to the cloud linux manager when i click on cloud linux manager it is showing 404 error in this case i will go back and i need to type here this command so that means we need to install lvm manager it will ask for the permission say yes it will take some time to install lvm manager that is cloud linux manager it is about to finish just wait for a few seconds done now only one thing is remaining reboot the system because it's a important one let me show you right click and open in new tab here it, it is clearly saying as please reboot the system so we have to reboot hello guys so finally we have solved the cloud linux uh, 404 error it is now time to visit the cloud linux manager you can also call as lvm manager when we first time visit the panel it will ask for the start the wizard so better to click on start wizard because if you skip that then you have to go to the multiple uh, things or multiple settings and then you have to configure each and every part so better we will click on start wizard now after that you can able to see certain settings it is asking us for the permission so in this case we will go ahead from the first setting first one is khfs in simple words khfs is used for php version switch from c panel if you went to your c panel and in that you wanted to change the php version of particular website or particular c panel so that time you can able to use khfs so you can able to say that individual each and every user can able to manage its file systems and tools okay so i will click on this and by default for the new all users it should be enabled and for uh, existing as well so this has to be enabled now it will ask for this okay so this is apache based lightspeed api for php so in this case they are asking us ls api so in this case here we are already running lightspeed so it is not required because here lightspeed already speed upping our server so this setting is not required then after that we come to the next setting is mysql governor okay this setting will helps you to monitor your resources usage and restrict the mysql usage in the shared environment so this helps to reduce load on the server the mostly we have seen that if users are using the server or you can say we have allocated a c banner so that time we can able to configure like ram cpu iops entry processes number of processes yes but we forgot about mysql usage and because of that we mostly seen that servers are getting overloaded and the speed of the server is getting lower and lower day by day because mysql queries are fired at extreme level by the users to avoid this we have to install this application and click on i agree after that this setting is totally optional because if you are selling a c panel and you wanted to also offer node js option to your customer then you can able to select this in this case it will ask us to select the versions so let me select the latest four, four to five versions and after that it will ask for the default so i will put 18 as a default one 
So you can able to check on the Google and see which is the stable version and which is the most uh, running version nowadays and that you can able to set as a default one. Ruby, uh, it is totally depend on you. But uh, as we are running for our own servers, so I need Ruby for my project. So in this case, I will select the required peer, uh, Ruby version. So I, will, I had already selected Python. Also, if I check this, all these things, in this case, it is already selected some default and most popular uh, Python versions. And I also selected 3.9, the latest one. After that, I will keep uh, my version to 3.7 because my project need 3.7 Python version. So it is totally depend. But keep make sure that at least keep two uh, versions lower and not latest one because sometimes uh, people's projects will not work and they might not able to know how to enable python okay so enable means change the version of the python so because to avoid all of this we have to set the standard settings here now come to the next part that is configure php i will click on this and it will ask for the permissions and i will say yes after that uh, select PHP versions install means it will ask us for the KJFS to enable certain PHP versions. So let's me select this 7.1, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5, 3 and 4 are similar. So I will choose this one. 8.8 and 8.1 is similar. So I, I don't need this. So here are the PHP versions I selected. And after that, I am enabling the selection option for the user and click on finish installation now we had completed almost all the necessary plugins installations and all it will take around 10 to 15 minutes from the back end so you don't need to worry about this thing so you can able to see here installation is running on and here are some errors we are getting that might be because server server is not that might be because server is not restarted so no worry automatically it will fix after reboot okay so if i will scroll down to the bottom you can able to see that this actually got failed so i will retry it it is giving me error because there might be a, some issue with the script no worry i will restart the system and it will automatically fix so you do not have to worry about these factors or just update your cloud Linux, it will automatically will fix KJFS issue. Now, after enabling all these settings, now it is time to check what we can do with cloud Linux. Cloud Linux. First, I will go to the current usage. Current usage will show every 10 seconds, it will automatically refresh and try to show you all the maximum usage users. So that are consuming your server. So you can able to see a real time users here you will find the all the list of users statistics from here you can able to see the usage like cpu ram iops uh, entry processes i am uh, there are a lot of things will be there so you can able to check from this options so i will go to the options and here you will find a lot of options will be there when we first time visited the cloud linus that time we got the wizard in that wizard that all the settings we had asked many times if you wanted to set further you can able to visit each and every panel and do the changes so let's say uh, fault included so these are the all the settings like speed speed nothing but cpu io means io means in input output iobs means uh, the hardest read write ratio memory means ram concurrent connection means entry processes and number of processes that is NPROC. So you can able to see that we are put all those things on the monitoring. So when someone crosses certain limits, it will automatically show us on our dashboard. Here, minimum number of faults to notify means when certain faults happen. Faults means if you are allocated one GB RAM to a person, but he try to reach or try to use more than one GB, that is called as one fault. If you try it in a single day means in 24 hours five times so that time it will send us a notification so to set this we can able to use this setting similarly you can follow other settings now i'll go to the packages this is the most important factors that we always need to consider here you can able to see that here it is a default package it has a hundred percent 
स्पीड मीन्स वन सी पी यू पी मैम मीन्स रैम आई ओ आई ओ पी एस एंट्री प्रोसेस नंबर ऑफ प्रोसेस आई नोट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेट द आई नोट यू कैन एबल टू सीट द प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग यू कॉन्ट चेंज टू चेंज दिस यू नीड टू लो गो टू द टर्मिनल एंड यू हैव टू डू इट मैनुअली बट इट इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड बिकॉज इट्स एक्सट्रीमली स्टैंडर्ड सेटिंग सो यू डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट दिस नाउ आई विल शो यू वन सिंगल एग्जाम्पल फॉर दैट आई विल क्रिएट अ सम पैकेज फर्स्ट ओके सो हाउ टू क्रिएट पैकेजेज हाउ टू यूज सर्विसेज हाउ टू यूज सी पैनल डब्ल्यू एच एम वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ वीडियो सीरीज सो यू कैन एबल टू गो एंड वॉच दैट बट फॉर दिस वीडियो वी आर primarily focusing on cloud liners here we do not have any packages so we are not able to see here the packages so let me create a package so here i will create a one single package called as a unlimited and after that i will put all the settings and the video is already given in the description you can able to go and watch the entire series about whm and whm cs how to use and uh, how to create your own web hosting company okay done we have created successful now you can able to see that here we had a plan that is unlimited just we had created right so in this case you can able to see that the default settings as it is copied in this particular plan but we can able to click on edit make sure that you can't edit this without going into the actual terminal so and it is not required as well so i will click on this to edit this so in this case let me assign i wanted to give a two core cpu with a uh, 4gb ram or 3gb ram and i hope i wanted to allocate like a 5u i o p s so here i will enter like 409896 and entry process is 50 and number of process is 200 and i will click on save so you can able to see that if someone assign or someone uh, create a c panel with the help of this unlimited package you can able to get whatever we set now so you can able to see here that means you can able to create a packages and assign a particular ram cpu and other resources so they can able to get the uh, upgrade or downgrade of their plans based on the resources so this is how you can able to charge your customer based on the resources so this is the best part about the cloud linux i will go to the selector in the selector we do not have any php selector because no record found so if there is a user that time we can able to use this selector to select php version for a particular website website monitor so if you wanted to monitor certain websites uh, speed performance and all then this tool is best for you x ray is the new feature to learn more about x ray you just need to go to the cloud linux official site and you can able to find the document in this case we always recommend you to install xray because it is the php enhancer cloud linux is so intelligent that they created their operating system in such a way that it gives you a freedom to manage your server and also helps you to monitor speed up they try to understand where the users are getting problems like php so latest Uh, update in the last few one year before they had started this x-ray feature because they have seen that mostly the php causing the server load or server speed issue so in that case uh, we can able to use the x-ray and track the records okay now we will go to the accelerate wp this is the one of my favorite tool if someone using wordpress so that time we can able to use this feature to speed up our server performance and please make sure that we have already installed lightspeed so lightspeed itself has a feature but if you are not using lightspeed so that time you can able to use this feature accelerate wp so this this is how cloud linux configurations work and make sure that the accelerate wp is not a free so you would need to buy from their official site done about the licenses on all cloud linux official license cost is 15 dollars we are giving at 12 dollars so if you want sorry 11 dollars if you want it you can able to directly buy a server from our site and you will get the support as well